thing truckers are interested in is how fast their trucks will go and how far their CBs will reach. Well, hello, my friends. This is a story about VRL Precup from Allen Park, Michigan, which is a suburb of Detroit. You know, um, no matter what profession, no matter what industry we're talking about, there are idiots, there are liars, they are populated with thieves and criminals. Every, every profession, every industry has their fair share of these individuals that are low lives, waste of human flesh. Well, the trucking industry has their fair share as well. This video is going to be about an individual named VRL Precup from Allen Park, Michigan, which is a subport, suburb of uh, Detroit. This idiot used to work for Swift Transportation. He was convicted in 2018 for tax evasion and for transportation of stolen goods from Swift in their trailers. He did a year and was released in 2019. About one year later, he started torching Swift's trailers. A total of 25 Swift trailers. And he set fires all over the place. California, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Alabama. A lot of times, drivers were asleep in their berth when this waste of human flesh set, tra set fires to their trailers. Fortunately, knock on wood, no one got killed. He did this from uh, June 2020 to March, 20, March of 2022, almost, almost a, a full year. Once again, he didn't care about human life. The way Swift busted him was that after he did his time in jail, he did his one year for stealing from Swift. He got out, was driving a tractor trailer, and that's how he was bouncing from state to state working for somebody else. And every time he was in that particular area, whatever state, go to a truck stop, see a Swift trailer, and he set the damn thing on fire. Well, after Swift had their first six fires to their trailers, they said, wait a minute, this is just too coincidental. They go and hire a fire investigator who went around and looked at all the different fires that was hitting uh, um, Swift with the trailers and tried to find common, common things with each one. And he did. He ended up... Uh, noticing that they were using the same, same methods to start the fires. All the fires started basically in the same place of, in the trailer and usually about the same time of day. My question is, and I've been trying to root it out, but I haven't seen it reported, why was he even driving a tractor trailer? I mean, was one of the charges, was he driving without a valid CDL? Because I would assume with those charges, tax evasion and... Uh, transportation of stolen goods that his CDL would have been yanked off him probably five years, I would imagine. So how does he get out of jail one year later and he's driving a truck? And the reason why I bring that up is that's how the police tracked him down. They looked at all the swift trailers, you know, where the fires were, and they, they used his ELD from the truck he was driving to pinpoint the cell towers of where he was at and it placed him uh, in in the correct area at the correct time for when those fires occurred. So they had probable cause, got a warrant and they searched his car, his house, the truck that he's in and they found um, evidence. They found a gas torch, torch style lighters, you know, to start the, the torch, trip sheets from loads that he had done, where he had picked up and he delivered to actually show, written down, that he was um, in the same area where those fires occurred. So they had him two ways. They had him with his own log sheets of where he picked up at and where he delivered, which was in the same area, same time as the fires. And they also had the triangulation of where hit the cell, you know, where his ELD was pinging off cell, cell tires. So they had him dead to rights two different ways. Now, he's supposed to be sentenced 
um, June 7th on six counts. They, I, they, they could prove six counts, but like I said, he did 25 total. So if, I, uh, why, why they only got six counts? Here's a video from a local newscaster about this. Local man is convicted of setting a string of semi-truck trailer fires in the southwestern parts of the United States. The six fires were set over a span of 10 months in 2022 in parts of California. All of the trailers set on fire belong to Swift Trucking, and they were all parked at or near a truck stop, putting other people's lives in danger. Well, today, a jury found Via Rail Precop of Allen Park, there he is there on your screen, found him guilty of six counts of arson. Precop's cell phone was present at all six California fires, as well as 18 others across the country. Investigators believe he held a grudge against Swift Transportation after he was caught stealing items from Swift trailers. The fires began soon after after pre-cop served time in that case. Okay, my friends, anybody ever watch the old Twilight Zone with, with Rod Sterling? I'm talking about the black and white, late 50s, early 60s. Ster that, Twilight Zone was a really a good show. One of my favorite intros, and he had some really good intros to, you know, before each uh each, each episode, but one of my favorites was, quote, there is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and a summit of his knowledge. This is the, the dimension of imagination, this is an area which we call the twilight zone. You stop to think about it. What it's basically saying is who knows why things are the way they are? Who knows why people do the things they do? Who knows really, you know, what's going to be peeking around the corner? We don't. And sometimes... You just can't explain why things are the way they are, why people do the things they do. You know, you just scratch your head and, you know, so. Anywho, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye. I can't hardly wait till I'm a trucker.